Sup Nation, it is September 26, 2015. My name is Carmine DeFatcock, and let's get you carmine in. So it turns out that Kit Harrington will be making an appearance in the new season after all. According to several sites, one of them being the Daily Mail, the actor was spotted in Belfast on set wearing some interesting clothes. In the picture here, we see Jon Snow in that traditional House Stark armor, somewhere with a fair amount of snow. Now before I get into this, let me address some things I've said in previous videos because there's always that one guy in the comment section. First, the showrunners and the guy who directed the episode has said that Jon Snow is dead. Hell, even President Obama got confirmation from the people behind the scenes that Jon Snow really is dead. That isn't a joke, by the way. It's, it really happened. You can look it up. So as of the end of Season 5, Jon Snow, to me, is dead based on what the people who made the episode are saying. His storyline for Season 5 ends with his death. However, his storyline for Season 6 may be completely different considering the showrunners like to be a little tricky. For example, they'll probably come out and say that they were either lying or say that when they aired episode 10 he was dead and then the next day they wrote him in as alive, so it's completely possible. But also, keep in mind that Kit may be there just filming a flashback scene and that his character is really dead. Something the show will do be doing now is flashbacks and I assume it'll have something to do with Bran. He was absent last season and we're supposed to assume that what he's been doing since then is training with the Three-Eyed Crow. You remember the guy we saw in Season 4 finale? Yeah, that guy. Maybe part of his training has something to do with touching the Weirwood trees and seeing back into the past, which would explain why they would cast a young Ned Stark and why Jon would be in those clothes. However, that picture of him in those clothes are zoomed in. If you zoom out a little, you can see someone under the umbrella and that someone could be Melisandre. It's hard to tell. I will be posting these pictures on my Facebook page if you want a better look, but if that is her under there, then there is no doubt that this could be post season 5. Another thing I want to point out is that if he is back in the show, it could be due to Resurrection or Melisandre using some of her powers to heal his wounds. There have been rare cases when people have survived multiple stab wounds before. Another thing to keep in mind is that the powers between followers of the Lord of Light could vary between each person. For example, just because Thoros of Mir can resurrect doesn't mean Melisandre can. She has the power to spawn shadow assassins, but I doubt Thoros can do the same. Personally, I would have liked Jon to stay dead. I know that isn't what some of you want to hear, but I would love to see how this story can move on without him. He isn't my favorite character, and I think that the show should try and bring in some characters that have been absent from previous seasons. Especially characters who haven't made an appearance yet, like Euron and an older version of Rickon. Oh, and before I end this video, I want to point out one more thing. The people who sent me this article speculated that Jon is likely wearing armor that only the Lords of Winterfell would wear. Kind of the same thing Ned Stark wore throughout his time in King's Landing in Season 1. While I would normally agree with that, I also want to point out that numerous Stark soldiers wore the same type of armor as well. Hell, Rob wore something completely different during his time in Season 2 and 3. Who knows, but let me know what you guys think. Is Kit filming a flashback scene for Bran's visions, or is this post season 5 and he's been brought back by some form of magic or special healing power? If you want a better look at the pictures, head on over to my Facebook page, and make sure to like and subscribe if you already haven't. I'll see you next time. Baba booey.